Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at how we're going to be completing this modeling activity over the course of three chapters as we look to understand the two parts that we're going to be completing during each of our three chapters to show what we know is going on with our new population. So for each part, uh, chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three, we are focusing on this question here, this big unit question, how is the new population becoming more poisonous over time? And we're gonna be answering that question at the end of each of our three chapters. And we're gonna be doing that uh, using two specific parts. So we're gonna be looking at understanding how to use your response resource to complete your reasoning tool and how to use your modeling resources to complete your modeling tool. So the two parts you're gonna be completing for each chapter is going to be a reasoning tool and a modeling tool to help us answer this question, how is the new population becoming more poisonous over time? So let's go ahead and take a look at our modeling tool and our resources with that along with our uh, reasoning tool and our uh, resources with that. So you're going to start each chapter. So this is chapter one. You'll see the top corner where you're going to be recording your evidence, key concepts, reasoning, and claim for how the new population is becoming more poisonous over time. For this reasoning tool, like any other reasoning tool, you're going to be going through and making sure you include your key concepts, your vocab, your evidence, and your reasoning for why you think the new population is becoming more poisonous over time. Now, this is a reasoning tool similar to what we've done in the past, where you start off with the evidence that you've observed, the key concepts, reasoning, and claim. As you complete this, you're going to need to first start with what is all the evidence from Dr. Jung's email that supports your claim. So if you go to the uh, speaker bar down here and you pull up the speaker bar, you're going to see a bunch of resources that are going to help you complete this section. First and foremost, there's going to be a guide video on how to get started. It'll break down all the different parts. From there, you're going to see the Newt video where you can watch that to get a quick refresher as to what we're looking to figure out and solve. We have our words and our definitions that you should be including somewhere within your reasoning tool, whether it's the evidence, the key concepts, the reasoning or the claim. We have the key concepts themselves, which you should be using, obviously, probably within this second column. And the last but not least, your emails and evidence. This is going to be where you pull out things that you observe and things that we have observed in our emails. So after you complete the reasoning tool here, where you explain the evidence, the key concept, the reasoning and claim, you're then going to come down to the model here. The model here is very specific. The model shows a set of newts a population of newts in the distant past. If you notice, it has a key here that shows uh, the poison levels for all of our newts, not only in the distant past, but in present day. We have this passage of time that occurs between the distant past and the present day. And we have a blank space here. This is where you are going to be completing your model. Now, your goal here is going to be to pull in different pictures, text, icons, similar to how we've made models in the past. And you're going to be looking to use that model to explain how our population went from this to this. As you go through this, if you're confused or need help, there is a guide video here to help break this down, along with some how-to videos. So how do I add and change images to my model? If we're on shirt, click here and I'll show you how. How do you use arrows, text, and shapes in your model? And how do you copy the slide with the old model into the slide with the new model? So that's how we go about creating our model for chapter one. At the end of each section, so at the end of chapter one, you're going to stop. You're going to double check your work and you're not going to move on. We're going to complete these reasoning tools and modeling tools at the end of each chapter. So we obviously are going to be completing chapter one to begin, then chapter two, reasoning tool and model, then chapter three, reasoning tool and model, and then that's when we'll be done with the entire thing to show how our understanding of our new population changing has itself changed over time. So do you understand how to use the response resource to complete the reasoning tool? And do you understand how to use the modeling resources to complete the modeling tool? Put your X in the green, yellow, or red row. Reach out if you have questions and good luck with your model and reasoning tool.